If you guys enjoy me starting the videos that way, something I want you guys to do right now is go down there and like this video so that I know you guys are enjoying it. We don't normally film like adventures, stuff like that we do. I want those to be like things for me, but when we go cool places and we do cool stuff, I do like to capture some footage. But this morning, I actually was looking at my own channel, which is something I normally don't do, and I saw things from your guys' point of view for the first time in probably a long time from my side of this camera. Me taking the BRZ at the pace I have is just because I, you guys know I love this car. Like this thing, we wide body dipped it, got it ready. It was done in like maybe a month or two months, like the whole process. And that was just because like that that's all it was. But with the BRZ, I really want it to be perfect. There's just, I just love this car and it's just like, I want everything to be exactly the way I want. And it's taken a lot longer than it should to get it to the point where it is. It's been like five months since we got the body kit. I kind of saw from your guys' end, the like the slowness and like the having different projects going. I just want to say that I recognize it. I'm going to try and focus a little bit more attention uh, for like longer so like we'll kind of dial in the BRZ and then we'll move on and we'll dial in the Genesis And having said that uh, the last time I gave you guys an update on the BRZ I actually said that the lower control arms had arrived Unfortunately the lower control arms that we got were not the correct ones And then I realized like who cares why can't I just drive it the way it is and then when I get the new control arms Just dial in the fitment anyway I think I've just been like itching for perfection on this and I'm not enjoying it the way I should be while I'm trying to perfect it You guys know the rear of this Karma body kit is like my absolute favorite part of the entire kit and unfortunately when we installed this exhaust like as soon as it started up before I even stepped out of the car I texted the boys at DSG and I was like this isn't gonna work so not only did we get a custom exhaust made we got the first ever product that DSG performance has made so you guys know these guys DSG performance are the official official they are the exclusive supplier of the karma body kit in North America so if you guys are looking to get a karma body kit it's coming from DSG performance and if you guys use the code Robbie karma 10 you guys can save yourself 10% on the body kit so this is the first product that they have actually ever fully manufactured and sold with their name on it. Not as like a distributor of other parts. I'm super excited to dig into this. I've had it for a little while, but like I said, I've been just trying to go for perfection. And instead, I just want to drive my car. Like I just, I just miss it way too much. <laughs> This is honestly the most insane exhaust system I have ever actually seen. So what's really nice is this one is also valved. You know, the other one was valved. Uh, this one looks like it's probably a little bit of a better valve system than the Karma one was. Exhaust could go straight through here and then out these two when this is open and then when it's closed, they just kind of go through the sides. And this is a full, essentially like header back system is what we're looking at. It's actually something that's really incredible that DSG has done. Even if you just want to do the bare minimum, you need a body kit and you need an exhaust system that's a center exit. So what DSG is doing, is they are producing this guy. This is essentially just like an axle back. It bolts up to, it should bolt up to pretty much any aftermarket mid pipe or even an OEM mid pipe. A center exit exhaust that they are now including with the Karma kit. So if you guys buy the Karma body kit and you don't want to get the exhaust, because to go from the full, like basically headers back, it's not as affordable as say, just not getting anything at all. So if you guys want to look for something a little bit more budget friendly, DSG has made this, which I think is honestly like a really, really great move on their part. So it helps you relocate the center exit and because it's just nice and simple and basic, they can actually include it with the kit and you get an unreal, like just look at these, dude. I have never seen welds this crazy on anything. Oh, and in the box, I never actually opened this yet. I'm assuming, yeah. Oh wow, this is way different. I don't know why there's two on and off buttons. <laughs> Maybe you could program it to do things. We're gonna figure it out. this thing off as like in one piece as possible because I'm pretty sure it's just going in the garbage. Dude, this 
is heavier than it looks. This flex pipe is just pooched. I had it on for five months, but how far did I really drive? I drove it the day we put it on, I got an exhaust clip. I drove it to the wrap shop, and I drove it from the wrap shop to the warehouse. Out of those times, there's a leak coming from here, there's a leak coming from somewhere right around here. There's a leak coming out here, there's leaks here. Oh, these ones are really nice, because the welds are bulky, so it catches it. Because I've barely been driving, so it's hard to find the exhaust gas. But see how this is all black? And see how there's like a little water drop? They welded it here and then tried to grind it down. Same thing with here. I'm not trying to say that this is a terrible exhaust. Where this came from and what they were doing with it, it's probably a great unit. To me, it's just not up to par with what I'm trying to do for my car. You know what I mean? This DSG exhaust is basically going from the overpipe back. So it's agency power, catless headers, a Burke overpipe, then all we're gonna have is one resonator down there and the two mufflers. So it's still gonna be pretty loud, and then hopefully one day when we turbo it, the turbo quiets it down a little bit, but I think it's time we just put it up there. Hey, buddy. You gotta look at the new exhaust. The it's, not, it's just on the ground here. I was just comparing like welds. These are incredible. Right? They like, these, these are not incredible. <laughs> yeah, this is unreal. And then like, this is just so much better. Right? The other stuff. The only thing is the one that they sent me that you guys are gonna get with the kit just has like a normal flange on it. So unfortunately I can't actually show you guys what this is gonna sound like. The only thing I have laying around that has a regular flange would be this. Bolt it up right here. Um, but I don't wanna bolt it to this cheap exhaust because I don't wanna I don't wanna discourage people. Yeah. They hear it and they're like, what the hell is that? And then the one they gave me is really nice and it V-bands. The just the unfortunate part is I was really hoping I could bolt up both and give you guys a sound clip of both, but with the V-band being here, it's almost impossible. Here, you hold those bolts on, and I'll just push this thing right over. Okay, ready? Oh my god, it even sits in there. That's unreal. Wow. Some dubs. Oh, right through. Have you ever used a V-band before? Yeah. I have never had the honor of having such a nice system in my entire life. <laughs> this, I hope this thing sounds like just way better than the other one did. It looks insane. Right underneath this heat shield, there's two grommets that go right into the floor. So we'll just pull the heat shield down, there's a little bit of room. Maybe we can leave that box under here. Yeah, you know what? We can honestly just put the, the management thing in the trunk with the rest of the management things for the rest of the car. Probably fish this guy through because it's smaller. How much do we need down there, like that? Yeah. Okay. Okay, got it. You got it? Yeah. Okay, I'm coming out. You wanna have like snips? No, well none of the snips go through this enough. You do this, you do this for long enough, you know. Just a quick little back and forth. Get the right technique going, and you get just a beautiful clean break. Can't complain. Make sure it opens and closes. That's closed. Off is closed, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, nice. You can't even hear it from inside the car. This is tight. Mm -hmm. I love having buttons. Dude, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous it's gonna be like too loud. It'll be nice that you have the push of a button to close it if yeah. it is too loud. Yeah. Start it with the closed though. All right. better than before though. It is. For the last like five months I just really hated opening or turning on this car at all. I'm so excited to have it like sound nice. Yo that's nice. That's 2500. 2500? Okay. Ready? Do 4,000 again with it open. Okay. Oh! oh! No! I had to cut you off. That was terrible. Uh, huh? Try half. Oh yeah, we have a half button. Let's see what half does. Okay. I like it again. It sounds like a soupy, and I like it. Okay, I am... 
itching to get this thing on the street and like do actual drive-bys. Right now a lot of things are closed down so we can't really go get an alignment. So we're actually gonna try and do something that we've never done before. We're gonna try and do like a self-alignment. Like you can get like an at-home kit but there's no, we didn't know we were gonna be doing this so we didn't buy an at-home kit. Game plan is to lower it on these old WRX wheels. I'm gonna put this to what I assume will be our driving height. Just tend to go camping in there. <laughs> I'm gonna say this is all right for driving height. But we need to dial it in so I don't blow the rear fender off. So for now, this is where we're gonna drive. did was we got them to where they looked pretty like even to the eye that way we weren't wasting time doing a bunch of measurements and then we put a piece of wood up which was actually really straight we picked two really straight pieces of wood I know wood's not ideal you probably want to use metal or something but like this is straight as an arrow so we used two of the same size pieces of wood on each side just put tape and press it up against and then essentially we just measured the distance from the front and from the rear hopefully it's pretty close we'll find out for sure once we get this thing on the road Okay, this is a big moment. Are you ready for this? This is not just the first drive with this exhaust. This is the first BRZ drive with air. Yeah. This is the first BRZ drive where I could potentially drive at home. This is the first BRG, BRZ drive of the year. Yeah, other than when we got home from rap, and that doesn't really count because that was more of like a depression drive. The alignment feels good though. Yeah. It feels pretty straight. Holy big tires hook. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, are those horses? Look at the size of those chickens. You guys see the, yeah, you can see the horses. It is really loud. Welcome, Bobby. This is gonna be a fire shot. Oh my God, this handrail is built up on rocks right there, on both sides. This, whoever built this, terrible job. Yeah, she's open. A, a softer launch okay. on, on screamo mode. Okay. And then I'll just do like a couple drive-bys for you and then hopefully we do this all before the rain starts. I need to see some starting. big beans. Like big it, beans fully open. You have little to Little motor, big tires. It doesn't we matter. We need big it turbo. It doesn't matter. There's no beans to be had, brother. Yes, sir. We gotta like set it to closed and then just throw away the remotes because we can't have that driving around. Absolutely not. That is not a thing. Someone's waving to me. <laughs> it sounds like a airplane's taking off. Dude, that sucks. <laughs> so if you guys had like stock headers or you had like a catted front pipe or something, it would be a lot less. The middle one's weird. But the problem with the middle one is it just, it's too raspy. Anything yeah. with it open at all, to me, is too raspy. That's dope. I've never, we've never had the Karma kit out on the street we, since we put the new wheels on. This is literally the first time I've taken this car on the road since really any of the work. And I got to see it rolling one of the first times it's on the road. It looks insane. Just the whole, it's aired up a little more than I want my normal driving height to be, but it looks insane. Yes, dude, it looks so good. 
Yo, exhaust aside, can we just say how good this thing looks? Yeah, it does look really good. We've never had it on the road yet. I know, this is the first really time. Good. It looks insane. It does, yeah. I'm in love. Looks so good. I'm in love. I'm in love. This is like the nicest thing we've ever built by far. Yeah. It just has to be. Even aired up like a big bitch, it still looks incredible. And it, but how'd the steering feel? Fine? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna drive home today. Why not? Yeah, the exhaust is nice and straight. Everything looks good. I'm happy. Just like an all time great mood. You guys have no idea. It's just such a good day. Now, all my neighbors don't think I just drive shit cars. Cause up until now, the only thing I've ever driven since we moved into this house is the Civic. And I feel like it's nice, but it's also kind of wild. And it has that like, almost could be to an extent like too tunery. Also, Steve's just chilling out here. Steve 2.0, still killing it. Welcome home, baby. I think mainly because all we've been doing is looking at it like in the warehouse lately, like up close. So seeing it on the road for the first time today, just seeing it at home, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And from here, you can't even tell how bad my fitment is in the rear. It looks like we are tucking lip. So this still kind of needs to get figured out just a little bit, probably just shave a little bit off the fender so that it just kind of comes down a little nicer. And then like I said, the front, I want to go a little bit lower just because I have the ability to. And then it actually right now, if you look at the ground, it sits just a little bit lower in the rear. So if I could lower the front just a little bit, probably get just a tiny little spacer, like a five mil, and then we get my lower control arms, push the camber out so that it matches the rear. But when Brad was driving it, like when it's aired up, it doesn't look as bad. And I'm geeking out right now. It looks so good. I can honestly say that I am having a very good quarantine, dude. Like a lot of you, a lot of people, like Brad, Cass, and Courtney are all sent home from work or like not allowed to go to work. Well, what would you call what you guys are doing right now? Self-isolation. You're self-isolating? Yeah, I think that's what it's called. It's really cool for me because normally like everybody comes halfway through the day, helps me out, or like just hangs out or does whatever, but for the last like couple days, it's just been, everybody's been around all the time and it's really fun for me because normally I'm by myself a lot more, so I'm enjoying it. And then yesterday we did something really random that like we weren't planning on doing. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that. If you guys are members, you've seen it already. Um, it'll probably come sooner than later that I actually show you guys. I have the video edited, but I don't want to post it until we're ready to work on it. It was just like a really random thing that we ended up doing and it was super cool and super fun. But before I let you guys go, I just want to remind you, enjoy what you have because this was a really good day. But in my mind, it wasn't supposed to come yet because I need, like I said, I needed everything to be perfect and I was waiting for the perfect time, perfect time. I just had a great day because I didn't wait for the perfect time with this car. Just like I normally don't do with my other cars. Make sure you guys are self isolated self quarantined. Let's just get this stuff over with. Get everybody back to work. I'll catch you next time. Peace out. Stay committed. Why?